because that is how serious it is. Because the danger of people after three, four days saying, Oh, nothing happened to me, I don't believe in this virus, where is it show it to me? This is just like the spiritual questions, people ask, where is it show it to me? So we can't show it to you till you get it. It's an experience. Only when it gets you, you know it. Just like that, virus also, only when it gets you, you know it exists. Till then you think it's a story. This is not a story. Well, this can be become a disaster story if we don't conduct ourselves well. This is not in either my hands or your hands. This is the responsibility of this generation to ensure that we don't move in that direction. So they got army on the standby. I hope they don't have to walk the streets. I hope the police force will be able to manage what they need to manage. Above all, I hope we as citizens will manage this ourselves without any force. Why I'm saying this is how the next generation will look at us could be determined by this one segment of time, the corona time. Whether we sail through this successfully or we drove ourselves into a disaster, the estimates that world bodies are making as to what can happen if it goes out of control are too horrible even to discuss. Particularly, the World Health Organization is placing this responsibility in India's hands. Till now, we have dealt with it exceptionally well, actually. but. From here on, it is in the hands of the citizens. Administration is doing whatever it is doing, making financial packages, fiscal changes, but still without the cooperation of every human being who lives here, this will not work. So, as days go by, people could drive themselves into frustration, people could start understanding what a mess they are and they can't deal with that. For those who are on the spiritual path, being alone, keeping a distance from the people, becoming silent, these are not issues, these are opportunities. But most human beings are not in this sphere of life, they will struggle. We are seeing how to offer various solutions for them in a very simple manner. But the important thing is just this, that those who call themselves spiritual seekers must be super vigilant and willing to step out and do what is needed. If the need arises, those of you who thought you were living in the comfort of Isha Yoga Center, the safest place right now to be. Hmm? I have uh, offered this to the Tamil Nadu government, the government of Tamil Nadu, that if things go out of control, all hospitals are full, they can use our premises. Because it is at times like this, life will expose us as to what kind of people are we. Hmm? When everything is well, everybody is fantastic. When challenging times,
confront us, that is when who we are matters really. When we say who we are, the fundamental question is just this. Are we that kind of people who are always a part of the solution or are we a part of the problem? This is all we have to decide. I have decided. I want all of you, wherever you are, in whichever part of the country or in the world, I want all of you to take this one stance right now in these next few weeks which are really challenging times for humanity, particularly India, that you shall be part of the solution, not part of the problem. This stand, everybody must take, this commitment everybody must take, this is very, very important.